Hello, everyone. So, um, this is a game I've known about for a while, and we will be starting a new uh, campaign of it. Um, essentially, it is a um, fleet combat uh, manager sort of thing, and uh, well, truly a rather fun. And those of you who are familiar with the Battlestar Galactica TV show, kind of. Uh, have an idea of how that might work. This is set during the first Cylon War when uh, essentially uh, humanity out among the stars is fighting against their uh, rebelling robots. So I have some of the DLC but we'll be starting with the uh, main campaign and we're gonna do it the, um, we're gonna add the uh, Broken Alliance uh, one as well. So we're gonna turn the difficulty up a fair bit and we're gonna have persistent damage and crew veterancy to make this interesting, shall we say. And uh, we'll get right into After it. After Vergon buried their nukes, the leaders of the 12 colonies promised we would never see war of that scale again. Peace would reign in our lifetime, and the lifetimes of our children. They could not have predicted the Cylon Rebellion, less than 30 years later. The worst conflict in colonial history, and we are at a stalemate. No foothold gained that isn't lost again within weeks. The Jupiter Project was supposed to be our ace in the hole. The largest, most powerful battle stars ever created. Each of the 12 colonies were promised one, in return for signing the Articles of Colonization. The first, Galactica, was Caprica's crowning glory. It went missing two weeks after deployment. Well, that's a fuck up. Athena, the fifth ship to be completed, belongs to Pycon. We were days away from delivering it when we heard the news. Pycon's capital cities were devastated by Cylon assault fleets. Among them, our own colonial fleet headquarters. There was no chance to intervene. Command of Colonial Fleet has fallen to Rear Admiral Kane. Our mobile shipyard, Daedalus, has become the ad hoc fleet headquarters. As Kane's XO aboard Daedalus, you have been promoted to Operations Commander of the entire Colonial Fleet. That's great. Kane intends immediate retaliation for the attack on PyCon. The War Room awaits your arrival, Commander. So the war isn't going that great right now. I'm gonna switch over to something else in. Discord, because there's a conversation. Icon's Battlestar on. is almost ready to deliver, but Sinan says it can't make an mm. independent jump until the fuel lines have stabilized. Kane's orders are to jump Daedalus to PyCon with the Battlestar Athena attached ASAP. That means we have to clear the scouts here or risk telegraphing our movements to the entire Cylon fleet. I'll prep the deck crews for the jump while you deal with the toasters. Good hunting, Commander. So we're gonna have a shit strength for the fleet. But uh, that's pretty normal. Okay, I think the music is still too loud in OBS, judging from the uh, levels. I think that's better. I think that's a lot better. Uh, let me know if the sound is fucky and I will make adjustments as needed. Okay, so we don't really have a choice here, we just have to engage, which is fine, really. 
we have two scouts and our mobile shipyard. And this is actually the first statutorial mission. It's time to make our presence known in this war, Commander. I trust you won't need my instruction twice. Tell your ships to move full speed towards the enemy. Okay. Proceed when you're confident with your commands. Sure. On it, Commander. So, it's kind of turn-based, but the combat is in uh, real time. So, you give your commands, the enemy gives theirs, and, uh, you know, things happen Our simultaneously. Our ships use fire control systems to automatically target and fire on any hostiles that move within range. Turrets will be less accurate the smaller or further away their target is. You can access a ship's fire control and check on its firing solutions for yourself. Okay. And we can uh, focus power or uh, focus fire on a ship, which makes them slightly more effective. Understood. And uh, ensures that they're targeting uh, the ship in question with. Uh, Oh, you'll only let me do it with that ship. That's dickish. But fine. Target is 3-4 by 6-2. And now he's uh, moving out of my arc. That's good. Oh, and there's Sir, another one. Sir, we've got a new Dreadus contact. Lovely. Okay. Dreadus IFF confirms the contact is a silent Corvette. Scanning for further intelligence. These Cylon Corvettes won't hold up to sustained fire. Focus your turrets on one side to punch through their armor and destroy the hull. These ships also have long-range guided munitions, useful for softening a target before closing in for the kill. Lovely. Now why are you forcing me to go through that interface? That's dickish. But fine. Missile tubes prepped. In fact, we'll put them on attack, and this is a pro strat, to increase the salvo of the missile so we can eat more of them in their ass hand. Missiles incoming! Why did you fire out of that side? Oh, yeah! They are uh, in. Commander, your ships don't seem to be performing as well as they should. Uh, they may have system damage that's been overlooked. Tell the engineering crews aboard those ships to hotfix what they can. I'll see to their comprehensive repair once you've finished with your engagement. Lovely. System repairs underway. Oh, I... Yes, sir. It would really suck to get clapped in the tutorial. Understood. I'm gonna launch fighters from this. So we can... Uh, Eat it. Subsystem is back online. Okay, so if we do it like this, so say we all. We can sort of drift. Understood. Okay, that's actually useful. I had forgotten about tactical maps. So okay, and. You two. Yes, sir. In fact, what we will do is we're going to group them together so they always act as a single unit. <laughs> you thought you'd juke me, eh? Fucker. Oh, he's he running. He don't want no part of this. Yes, Commander. Light him up. No mercy. Oh lord, their missiles are nearly uh, recovered as well. Come on, finish him. The missiles go on the uh, closer one. The uh, fighters can uh, finish him easily. 
so we're gonna let them do that. We're gonna try and turn our rear turrets towards uh, this one. Okay, at least they didn't hit my own ships, which is uh, positive. On it, Commander. Come on, fight our Skytrop and yeet it. Manticore is taking damage. That is just nasty. Kill that. These fighters are kind of crap because yes, commander. They're the uh, tier zero ones, understood, or like tier one ones, and um, they're not very good. And uh, we're just gonna dive lower down so we can get a decent arc on it and. Actually, that works pretty well because we can sort of hit it on the uh, top there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Actually, now this is the slowest you can move. That's fine then. Okay. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. Set secondary battery. Full attack mode. Fire at will. Okay. So all hostile contacts are down. Good. We recorded a vid feed of the battle if the commander would like to replay the fleet's performance. So we can replay battles and it does a cinematic thing I'll show you later, but this battle not mm, the first few or couple are a bit boring. Congratulations, Commander. But we still have work to do. Okay. Kane has got her stomping boots on. Started shelling out orders before she'd even finished sticking the Admiral pin to her jacket. She's out to prove she's ready for the top job of Colonial Fleet. Okay. Can't feel good to earn that promotion off the back of your superior's bad luck. But we've all lost someone in this. Let's, um, yeah, no. Screw the uh, yapping about Kane. She's a bitch. We'll get to that later right now. We're gonna deliver the uh, big ass uh, ship, I think. Okay, what do we have? Three marks. Three enemies. And we have our two crappy scouts. Uh, hopefully they won't be damaged. Uh, the raptors aren't really worth it yet, I think. Well... We'll keep it on now, wipers. Fleet group is jumping in three, two... One. Jump complete. Dreadus contacts bearing 017, Karam 021. PyCon and the rest of the 12 colonies are watching our every move, Commander. Some would see Colonial Fleet fail. Ensure we succeed. No pressure, sir. No pressure at all. Okay. So, we have the, uh, yeah, see, I turned persistent damage on, so this thing is actually, yeah, uh, still hurt from before, which is why we're gonna hang back with so this. So say we all. But, um, yeah, no, I, um, I think what we do is we use the Athena. Yes, sir. And we use the, um. Launching alert, Vipers. Fighters there, and. These we actually turn defensive to act as sort of a radar platform so we can identify the enemies sooner. And you, you are gonna get uh, moving. Okay. Escort clearance zone intact. Priority one is in safe hands. Ships are not lifeless assets to needlessly throw at the enemy, Commander. 
Mm -hmm. Adjust a ship's posture to tailor the crew's tactics so that you can match whatever opposition you encounter. Sure. Okay. Why do you a defensive posture ensures the ship's defense-oriented subsystems are more efficient. Likewise, an aggressive posture will boost the ship's offensive capabilities at the expense of the ship's defenses. Yes, thank you. Now, you, my dear Battlestar, are gonna be focusing that. You... Move forward. You are gonna sign to that. Fighters can, by the way, also try and intercept missiles. It's just that these um, Mark One wipers are um, not great at it. Shall we? Hostile say? unit identified. Okay, and that Commander, is Commander, receiving word from Athena's CAG. Their alert vipers are online and ready to return hostilities. Okay, that's great. And these are what? War drivers. They will hack our ships and really fuck up their effectiveness. Um, can't have that. Would be a shit time if we, you know, had that happen. Um, we're not gonna launch a missile salvo just yet. I want to make sure that we know what we're dealing with. You two. Understood. Go deal with that. And yeah, those two should be able to, um... You're still on boost. We're gonna hammer the fractures till they can't get back up. Missiles incoming! Use squadrons to hit priority targets or defend any of our own capitals. You can recall a squadron back to its carrier if the situation begins to deteriorate. Yes. Thank you. Kill those. Yes. So we're going to turn this off and we are simply going to turn on the flat fields and those should hopefully take out most of these yes, sir. issues. So this one, this one is being cute. So we're gonna, not going to reward them trying to be cute and trying to Missile flank us. Prepped. We're going to just yeet them for it. So the fighters plus three salvos of uh, guided missile should do a pretty Missile solid tubes job prepped. of uh, making them have a bad day. Those are down to third health. That's fine. You attack that and launch your rocket payload at that. Fighter squadron is taking fire. I still didn't take that out. That's fine. Okay, cancel flak. You. Hmm. Yeah, board that. That's fine. You. Ah, uh, could be in a better state, but that'll do. You are targeting that. That is fine. We'll give them the side guns. Uh, go full attack to boost weaponry and you... Oh, you're gonna have a bad time. A bad time. Yes, Commander. Perfect. A battle star is being hacked. Yes, that is inconvenient. But fuck that talent. Not necessarily the one we need to most focus on, but you know it's it's okay. Bring that one around. Uh, yeah, no, that's not gonna be a big issue. The vipers are cutting that down, and that just leaves this one. And Commander, I've asked Sinan if there is any way we can stop those Cylon tech ships from hacking our systems, mm. but he's being stubborn. 
We've already minimized onboard networking. Minimize, not Your firewall should keep them out for a while. Otherwise, take the subsystem offline for repairs if they cause too much damage. Or you can rely on the tried and tested method of shooting the Cylons down before they get the chance. Wow. Battle stars are equipped to accommodate flak ammunition. Use this to zone out fighters and incoming munitions. Armory offline can't flak. Lovely. Missile tubes prepped. We'll give them missiles then. Fetching out the manual. Ah, uh, this thing has a lot of A battle star is being hacked. I just give it focus fire this um Yeah, it's been uh They never stood a chance. That's right, Bracker. Okay, yeah. That's right. Needed to uh, get them off there because if they were still boarded, Dratus they would have cold. died with the ship. All hostile contacts are cleared. If you're finished playing with Pycon's toy. Okay. Admiral, Commander, we have a problem. The Idris relay that we use to outsource our jump calculations is malfunctioning. Malfunctioning? What's our effective jump distance? It's difficult to estimate with just the onboard computers. The red line extends beyond Helios Alpha, but we'd probably need an intermediary jump to get anywhere significant outside of the system. This is what an ambush looks like, Commander. Find us a way back to Helios Gamma immediately. I want Daedalus under the cover of Ragnar's Clouds before the Cylons can attack. Hmm. Commander, we're going to need more ships. Sinan's taken up Yards 1 and 2 for the Jupiter-class Battle Stars, and we're only prepped to crunch Manticores right now. The floor crews are changing their build priorities as we speak. There's no use having a half-built Battle Stars if we can't defend them. Okay, we've got the Manticore hull underway, but let's push its fit out and training schedule forward. Great. Your brand new Manticore is awaiting your orders, Commander. Sir, we suspect a satellite at Caprica Terminal may be the source of the Idris interference affecting our jump distance. Mm -hmm. I have the briefing packet ready. Colonial Fleet relies heavily on the Idris network. It provides access to accurate real-time locations and trajectory data of interstellar objects. The network is vital to our jump calculations. Without Idris, we can't tell if there's going to be a planet-sized inconvenience at the end of an FTL jump. We believe the Cylons are behind mm -hmm. the interference of the Idris network and using the civilians at Caprica Terminal as a human shield. Caprica has granted us operational access to the terminal surrounds. Galactica is still MIA, so there will be no Battlestar to save the day if the Cylons do show up. Lovely. To recap, we have to destroy every Cylon train. Okay. I will be right back, and uh, yeah, just uh, gonna take a quick minute, and then we will continue with mission three, and uh, missions one through four, I think, are the tutorial missions, so we're halfway through with tutorial, so yeah, be right back.